It feels nice to actually get some progress in the pool. I am a lot more confident and um, yeah, feeling good. It's just nice to actually see that I'm getting somewhere, which was um, the most important thing for me. And now I just need to practice and practice and practice. But um, yeah, it is exhausting. It's tiring. Swimming is... <laughs> I can see why it's uh I can see why it's an intense sport because it's um wow but I'm happy I feel good I feel great So I ordered um, three new books. This book, The Art of Explanation. I saw someone at a cafe I was working at reading it and again, my curiosity got the best of me and I asked them what, you know, what the book's about. And it's really interesting because I sometimes suffer from not being able to express how I feel and express, articulate, to, to articulate how I feel um, and what I'm trying to say. So this is, going to be an interesting book and the next two the courage to be disliked the courage to be happy the courage to be disliked i actually have a thought i lost on holiday and i haven't finished it and the courage to be happy um these two books definitely are what i need in my life right now so yeah i'm always excited to get new books to read new books it's always just, you know knowledge is power as they say power is knowledge there you go
session. But before that, always warm up. I always, always warm up. Very important. And then I move on to just some barbell movements. This is just to help me familiarize myself with the move, the movement that I'll be performing. And as a crosslifter, here's a quick insight into how I mix Olympic weightlifting with bodybuilding. I always start with a full body warm up. This is very important, especially before weightlifting sessions. Before I start the workout, I always warm up the movements with just a barbell as a way to prep and prime my body for the session. The workout is a snatch complex of a hang power snatch into a hang pull snatch into a snatch balance and overhead squat. So I've uh, managed to pull my back. Um, you know you're getting old when you pull your back just sitting down, which is what happened to me. Um, I was sitting down filming and uh, my back just went, like I heard a twang. What well, I felt a twang, a twinge. And um, yeah, so as I was editing the videos, it's for, it's like a, for the workout stuff. You could see the moment when it went because I was talking and then I just kind of went. <laughs> so yeah, doing some functional training today. Um, if you do my the app, you would see that I program a lot of functional training. I do them at least once every two weeks, like a full session of functional training. So I thought this would be a perfect time to film that and show you guys. And also it's, it's great because it's less impact on my lower back and it also adds some accessory work to help strengthen my lower back. And for today's footwear, I am wearing the Primus Light 3.5s. These are new actually. Uh, I wear a lot of the Primus Light, especially if I'm doing bodybuilding and functional stuff. So yeah, these are really cool. I've worn them now for about two weeks. I really like them. I take the inner soles out. So if you want to go extremely, extremely barefoot training, then these are awesome. I actually did a video on Instagram of the different type of Viva barefoot I wear and for what type of training. So probably share that on here. The Motor Strength shoe is my favorite all-round performance shoe. It is made for moving naturally during high impact workouts with added cushioning, protection, and stability that doesn't sacrifice barefoot feel. So the perfect for compound lifts like squats and deadlifts, Olympic lifts, and conditioning workouts. The Primus Light shoe is what I use for my functional training as well as body weight and conditioning workouts. It has less cushioning so you get a more grounded feel and very stable to improve foot strength and stability. If you want a more barefoot feel then the Primus Light is ideal. The Motus Flex is also a great performance trainer as it's a knitted shoe. It provides incredible barefoot feeling and flexibility for body weight exercises, primal movements, body weight training and functional workouts. Um, yeah gives you an idea of which ones I wear for what type of sessions yeah so if you'd like to get a pair I will put the discount code on put them I'll put it in the screen or I'll put it in the description box um, if you want to get a pair of Viva barefoot shoes right first exercise let's go I am a firm believer that everyone's training should be a mixed modality of different disciplines. 
and i always think that there should be more to your training than just lifting weights you should be able to be hench <laughs> and move well being more functional helps your body in more ways than you know from building strength to helping injuries both pre and rehab My goal is to always show different types of training that I do and challenge everyone watching to add some diversity into your training. It makes it so much more enjoyable and a great way to challenge yourself. Oh, they've gotten so big. Uh, they're so, so big. They've gotten so big. Wow. I remember when I was feeding them and I was house here, they were tiny. Yeah, because you get them in jeans. You're going to need more, a bigger tank. Wow, look at it. It looks so different. Last time I was here, it wasn't like this. Yeah. Ooh. Look at the style of this. This is that time. The rest. Are you gonna sing the rest? No, I'm trying to make sure that I've done this right. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's fun. Oh, awesome. But um, 
No, that's, I don't know, like if you already have the big range. Yeah, there's no point. What I want then is like a sports car. Yeah. That I can just Yeah. <laughs> Again. Because I won. <laughs>